Okay, so here we're gonna define our state and we'll create a new class and this time we'll see we are doing it a bit differently and different than earlier example. Here we'll create a class and then we do welcome state and then over here inside this I'll have a variable which is int and we'll call it page and after that I'm gonna create a constructor over here and the constructor would take a argument so the argument is this dot page over here and uh, well we can assign a value to it so we don't need the value over here so when this gets called the constructor or when you create an object from it it would get called automatically and uh, then the value would be initialized all right now let's reformat the code okay like this now this is a bit different than the earlier example in our earlier example we have done states like this so if you take a look, first we had a class and then that class was extended by another class. And then we have called this one to init our state and later on we called this one to change our state. Now this could also be done in simpler way like this. Now it has its own benefits which we'll see later. Now for a welcome class like this where we just want to change this dots. So we don't need that complex. So with this, it would get the job done. So all we need to do, we need to call this one, okay? And it will initialize the variable. And next time we're gonna change the value, we call it again. That's it, that's as simple as that one, create new objects. And that new object will hold our state. All right, so I'm going to close this one. And then over here, events. So for events, here we could do class, welcome event, like this. And that's as simple as that one. There's nothing else. Let's keep it like this. And now here we have this block. Now the block would also be a bit simple this time. Here we'd create class and we'll call it welcome block. And then it would extends block over here. And then we'll have welcome block uh, well, that should be welcome events actually event and uh, welcome state This one. All right, and after this over here We are going to call the constructor constructor of this class and the constructor of this uh, Super class so over here we would do welcome block and then super now inside this actually we can go ahead and call welcome state this one now with this our state would be initialized and after that we can register our event all right so right now we just have only one event and that is uh, welcome welcome event this one and then inside this we could do event and emit now you can name them anything it doesn't really matter we have learned it before now over here we just uh, emit our state. When this event is called, we can just emit our state. And how to do that? So over here, one more time, emit, and then we'll call welcome state, this one. And uh, over here, page, and state.page, this one. And that's it. So whenever we call this event, we'll have a value, which is state.page value which means that page will have a new value somehow we'll have the value and we just emit the new value so with this our state would be updated and that's what we want now of course this time it, it looks much simpler than earlier ways why we have done that we'll see so before we were using abstract class and after that we just extended that class uh, but this is a much simpler format okay all right now with this our block is ready now you should be able to go ahead and use them directly now over here right now we need to come to our uh, main dart and over here let's inject it so we'll call it welcome and then uh, welcome block actually welcome block and then after this everything else stays the same let's import it and the error should be gone okay so with this the dependency injection would be done and uh, now we're gonna use this uh, created block 
in our app over here. Now we see that the page view actually is more responsive and as well as this one. So we can actually wrap this container around our block builder widget. So I'm going to cut this one and then here do block builder, block builder. And then inside this we say welcome, welcome block and uh, we'll have welcome state welcome state okay and let's have this uh, imported i guess we need to import it and then over here just simply have this uh, well we already have builder so here we need to pass context and state so that context should be related to welcome block and state should be related to welcome block as well now inside this we just return our container the container we had early okay now with this we are going to be fully reactive having a reactive state now let's go ahead and restart our app and make sure that nothing is wrong there all right now so far this is what it looks like nothing changes here yet okay now the changes should be coming from here first uh, well here's one thing that we need to know so if you open up page view now instead of page view while well, we have many children and uh, we have another property we can use this called on change and it takes an index all right and then over here actually we can print the index so index value is index value is index all right so what I'm trying to show you let's see all right So index value is one, index value is two. Well, that's it. Of course, it starts from zero because whenever we are over here, the already index assigned to this one is zero. So when you move to the next one, it gets index as one and next one should be two. And after that, we don't have anything. Now, why I'm showing you. Now, this index we can get automatically. We can grab the value through this function okay this is a callback function when you interact with this this function gets called and the index value we get out but uh, how about changing over here that's why we need this index because we get it automatically now we need to save it save it somewhere that our app can use it anywhere we are able to access this index and this is what we do using state management and this is what we have designed so far okay all right, now we need to save this index. Okay, and how to do that? Well, first over here, we know that this current value is zero and uh, that's okay, actually, that current value. It has not much to do with our value that we are going to have now. But since we are inside this block builder using welcome block and welcome state, we can access the state using the state variable which is actually coming from here we already have one so here we'll have state dot page and then here we can assign index now index whatever is there it would be assigned to this page value so that means that it would be saved that also means that we'd be able to access it now we know this would be saved because we are assigning it to the state variable state variable holds all the variables and we can find them and assign individual value that's what we have done now we need to access this now where to access actually whatever the value is saved there we want to access for this dots okay all right now we need to come back to our dots indicator down here where we have this positioned widget now dots indicator have a property which is called position now inside this we can access state variable and page and that's it and well, we have to change it to double because position takes a variable value, which is double, but this one page is integer. So we convert it to double. But of course, if you want, you can also assign this one as double over here. It doesn't really matter. Now we are able to access this state object inside this position. Why? That's because you see page view and position, they are all 
wrapped inside my block builder which takes my events which is welcome event and welcome state so as long as they're wrapped around a widget like this we can always access the state property and now let's go ahead and uh, restart it now let's change okay so it looks like we are not being reactive okay well the reason is even though we are trying to assign like this and I forgot to do one thing we are trying to assign like this yes we are changing the value but we are not really let block know that you should update the latest value on the UI I mean it is updated but we don't see that but we need to update it and let the UI know that the updated value is there and update the UI and how to do that now to be able to do that over here we could do like this we can go ahead and block provider dot off and then you pass the block name which is welcome block and then over here pass the context and then here we just simply add an event so to add event we need to call add function and what is our event welcome event welcome event this one and that's it so once this is called once this is called so this welcome event when this would be called and which is registered over here it would find from the block and and execute whatever inside this so inside this we have said hey there is a new state go ahead and update it because by the time it reaches over here the index when I switch like this from 0 to 1 would be reflected over here so that reflected value is this one and then we just assign this new updated value which is page I mean we assign to this page variable and if we can do that now over here inside this welcome this would get updated as well like over here right okay so I was missing that part now let's go ahead and do that as you see it changed yes and this is awesome 